Oke, okay, welcome back with me, Mr. Saimi. This is our next videos for my class in the third years of SMK Teruna Padang Sidimpuan. Hello, my students, how are you today? I hope you get well and all, always watching my videos for our learnings. Well, uh, Today, I would like to teach about expressions of showing cause and effect. Okay, so we have to talking about expressions of showing cause and effect. Just frankly, cause and effect is a very simple lesson because we talk about in Bahasa Indonesia, sebab akibat. Well, my students, look, for this video, I hope you watch it carefully because uh, it's easy and get some confused for the sums link. For example, look, Cause is what happened. Okay, look. What does it mean cause? This is what happened. Bahasa sebab. And effect is the result. Okay, effect is the result. Sebagai hasil. And in cause effect, the connector we use is because, because of, as, so, such therefore consequently thanks to and do it too this is what we use as connector in cause effect okay cause effect look I write some poem how to write cause effect in good grammar. Look, because it want to make it a good sentences after because we plus subject plus verb one and don't forget to use comma for the effect subject plus verb. Next, because of plus noun or noun phrase okay next for such okay for connector such we use the poem subject plus verb plus such plus adjective plus noun plus that plus subject plus verb and for so look subject plus verb plus so plus adjective or verb plus that plus subject and plus verb this is the form that we use next we can divide the most linking words and expressions of cause sorry this is not cause but cause sebab i get mistakes in the wrong writing and effect into four not found sorry into a four group one coordinating conjunctions okay so look be carefully as in the first slide the connector that we use there are because because of as so do it to since therefore consequently and thanks now i make it in into group for group when we use for when we use so look my students for coordinating conjunctions we use for as cause and so the position is for effect so you cannot use so as a cause okay 
and four as the epic no it's get wrong in bahasa indonesia coordinating conjunctions kata for itu digunakan sebagai sebab oke okay? sedangkan kata so itu fungsinya diletakkan sebagai efek menyatakan efek akibat kita ulangi for itu digunakan untuk pernyataan sebab and so digunakan untuk menyatakan efek atau akibat number two subordinating conjunctions we use because since as and cause subordinating conjunction because since as ini fungsinya digunakan sebagai menyatakan cause atau sebab. Tidak boleh dipakai untuk efek atau akibat. Third, conjunctive adverb. Therefore, consequently. Therefore, consequently use for effect. Therefore, consequently kita gunakan untuk menyatakan akibatnya. Well, the last preposition because of due to because of and due to also used for close. Because of dan due to itu kita gunakan untuk menyatakan sebab. Jadi, to all my students, please be carefully When you use the expressions, so that's why I try to link this word into four group. Jadi karena itulah bapak coba membagikannya ke empat group supaya anak-anak kami sekalian lebih paham kapan kita menggunakan kata for, so, because, since, dan yang lain karena kesemua ini. Kalau di dalam bahasa Indonesia, kita artikan sama-sama karena. Ya, karena. Jadi, ada kata karena itu diposisikan meaningnya untuk menegaskan sebab dan ada yang posisinya untuk menekankan akibat or effect. Oke, okay? lihat hati-hati, watch be carefully. Nah, kita masuk kepada pokok pembahasan yang pertama, yaitu coordinating conjunction, menggunakan for and so. A coordinating conjunction comes between of two main independent clause. Oke, okay? comes between two main independent clause. Jadi, dia sebab yang berdiri sendiri in written English you must put a comma before the conjunctions okay look be carefully you must put a comma before the conjunctions example one a great number of people of people for chase it comma for it reasonably priced sorry it should be C not S okay I get some mistakes to type. Look, repeat. A great number of people purchase it. For it, look, I use for. And look, you must put a comma before the conjunctions. Okay, so we have to put comma here before this conjunction. Okay? Ex example, it. Reasonably priced, so everyone buys it. Look, okay, in Bahasa, banyak orang yang membeli ini karena ini harganya terjangkau. Perhatikan, seperti yang Bapak bilang tadi, kalau kata for itu, ya, kata for itu sebagai sebab ya sedangkan so di situ nanti fungsinya sebagai menyatakan efek 
Ya, lihat ini saya balikkan. A great number of people for its reasonable price. Its reasonable price so. Jadi ini menyatakan sebagai efek. Oke, okay? ini for untuk cause sebab dan ini sebagai akibat, menyatakan akibat. Everyone buys it. You get it, my students? Well, good. Next, subordinating conjunctions. Because, since, as. These conjunctions join a main independent clause and subordinate dependent clause to each other. Example, everyone buys it. Because, since, as, it's reasonable price. Okay, look for the second. Because, since, as, it's reasonable price, everyone buys it. So, why I put these three conjunctions? Because, exactly it's a synonym or similar and the functions here is as close jadi kenapa bapak menggunakan ketiga-tiganya di sini dengan garis miring karena ini sama-sama fungsinya sebagai menyatakan sebab oke okay? ya jadi sebab itu dia boleh kita gunakan setelah koma dan boleh di awal koma. Ingat? Oke, okay, good. Three conjunctive adverb. Therefore, consequently. Therefore and consequently join two main clauses to each other. For example, its reasonable price therefore it should be semicolon here so not a comma i get mistake to type its reasonable price we use here semicolon then therefore comma okay a great number of people purchase it second its reasonable price semicolon Consequently, a great number of people purchase it. Okay. Next. Look. I use it to professional because and due to. Because of due to, they are compound prepositions. Therefore, they need to be followed by a noun. Or legeran forms of a verb, not by a clause. Again, they need to be followed by a noun or legeran form of a verb, not by a clause. Okay. And don't forget, the two is. For close, same with because of. Okay, this is because of dan due to juga untuk menyatakan sebab, bukan untuk akibat. Okay, sedangkan yang ketiga tadi, therefore and consequently, okay, ini untuk menyatakan efek atau akibat. Sedangkan because of dan due to menyatakan sebab. Look the example. Everyone buys it because of, okay, or due to its reasonable price. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Everyone buys it because of or due to it being reasonable price. Look. Because of or due to are synonym. So, if you start with a prepositional phrase, you must separate the clauses with a comma. So, 
the comma here in this cause effect is very important to define which one is the cause and which one is the effect. Okay, as a sample, look one because of if reasonable price because of reasonable price everyone buys it okay remember because of and due to itu kita gunakan untuk menyatakan sebab bukan efek bukan akibat good get it yes next due to it being reasonable price a great number of people buys it so what you have to use being in these sentences because if you start with a prepositional phrase you must separate with a comma and because of it being reasonable they need to be followed by a noun or the certain form of a verb, not by clause. Karena dia memang harus diikuti oleh zeren. Okay, next. As notice. Notice for the prepositional clause. When two subjects of the two clauses are different, you must leave the second subject before the gerunds. Again, when two subjects of the two clauses are different, you must leave the second subject before the gerunds. For example, everyone buys it because it is reasonably fries. Okay? Two, everyone price because of it being reasonably priced get it okay this is for the last and then what i have to talk about is we back to the bottom slide for in bahasa Indonesia, kata for itu hanya digunakan dalam bahasa formal. Ya, mostly used in a formal situations. And so, kata so lebih cenderung dipakai dalam bicara bahasa ketika speaking. Jadi, in the writing, di dalam penulisan, we use often to use for, not so. But in speech, directly, we use so as the connector of cause effect. Get it? Yeah, good. And subordinatings, okay? Subordinatings, as, since, lebih formal, more formal than because in bahasa English. Okay. Next, conjunctive. Therefore, consequently, also used in formally written English. Jadi kata therefore, consequently itu juga di dalam penulisan bahasa Inggris formal. Okay. Due to, okay, due to, ini juga lebih formal dibandingkan dengan kata because of, okay, you get it clearly, look, kata for, okay, itu kita gunakan untuk menyatakan sebab ya kata for we use for cause kita gunakan untuk menyatakan sebabnya so ya kata so ini untuk kata menegaskan efek akibat 
Oke. Okay. Supaya diperhatikan baik-baik anak-anak kami sekalian. Ya. Nah. Kata koordinat because, since, and as. Ini kita gunakan untuk menekankan sebab. Oke. Okay. Kata because, since, as untuk kalimat sebab. Bukan untuk akibat. Oke, okay. lagi supaya lebih jelas lagi. Kata therefore dan consequently, ya, ini digunakan untuk akibat. Ingat, therefore, consequently kita gunakan untuk akibat. Sedangkan because, since, and as itu kita gunakan untuk close. Well, and because of and due to itu kita gunakan untuk cause atau penyebab. Jadi anak kamu sekalian ada berapa tadi konektorsnya yang digunakan atau diposisikan menyatakan sebab, ada yang diposisikan menyatakan akibat. Jadi konektors itu tidak hanya sembarangan dipakai so, karena artinya bisa sama karena. Oke? Okay? Due to, because of, sama-sama artinya in bahasa Indonesia karena. Tapi dia tidak boleh sembarangan diposisikan. Kita harus tahu mana yang untuk menyatakan sebab, mana yang untuk menyatakan akibat. So, kalau ada yang bilang, due to itu tidak boleh diletakkan di awal kalimat, Bapak pertegas saja sebenarnya itu Bapak kurang sepaham. Karena sesuai dengan the rules of English grammars, due to itu boleh kita gunakan di awal kalimat. Karena kita sudah jelas posisinya due to itu adalah untuk menyatakan sebab. Oke, okay? jadi Bapak rasa sekian dulu untuk penjelasan kita hari ini masalah sebab akibat. Bapak harap kepada seluruh anak kami kelas 12, walaupun masih dalam keadaan praktik, tetap menonton video-video pembelajaran kita khusus bahasa Inggris kelas 12. Jadi, untuk tugas kali ini, Bapak harapkan kepada seluruh anak kami yang sudah menonton video ini untuk memberikan, menuliskan contoh kalimat tentang penggunaan cause effect. Anak kami sekalian boleh kirimkan langsung jawabannya ke WA grup kita masing-masing misalnya kan sekelas 10, 11, 12 TSM itu sudah ada grup TSM WA nya, silahkan kirimkan biar Bapak nanti bisa melihat siapa yang memang sudah mengerjakan tugas walaupun anak kami sekalian masih ke dalam keadaan prakrin oke okay, Bapak rasa sekian saja, terima kasih I hope you all well see you, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh